work with Carolyn Nish to ensure that a new sign would in fact meet the standards of the ordinance. April 8th, a new sign appeared. It is 7.6 square feet. According to um, the regulation, it should be a maximum of six square feet. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Um, is, um, I assume this is the, in the, the responsibility of the building inspector, if there's a, a, anything that's out of compliance becomes a possible Yeah, so we're trying condition. to track that down and figure out when, you know, why they didn't apply, they, my assumption is, they somehow thought they didn't need it if they're doing it by right sign. We haven't looked at any of the plans. So, yes, it's an important issue. And we're aware of that. Okay, and so the building inspector will be made aware or is aware is of it? Is aware of it, yeah. Okay. Um, is this something where if a member of the public wants to call the building inspector to ask about it, that they, yeah. they're within their rights oh, to do absolutely. that? Yeah. Because he is the zoning enforcement officer for the city and um and if there's a sign that uh, or any action taken by a property owner that is in is out of compliance with the requirements of the ordinance it's the building inspector's responsibility to investigate uh if and uh, if necessary take further enforcement action excellent okay thank you okay thank you um, should we, I guess it doesn't matter, but we, we do have a request, two matters at 5.30, one of which we've been asked to continue till June 23rd. Um, you can take it in whatever order. Okay, since so they're both at 5.30, why don't we just do, so we don't forget, do that a motion on the request. This is the, regarding continuation of a commercial finding and continuation of appeal of the building commissioner's determination by Jeremy Kachowski to convert from one conforming use to another, to, to a single family home. On, at 196 Cook Avenue, Northampton, Map ID 18-22. And the applicant has requested a, another continuation this time till June 23rd. Would that be 530? Um, I would suggest you might want to do um, 540 in case there's another okay. item ahead. Okay. Um, and put that second. So maybe, a, a, so I guess, do we have a motion <coughs> to grant the request for a continuation of this matter? to June 23rd at 5.40 p.m. in this room. Before yes, the motion, um, yeah. can we just check that? Because I will be- That's what I'm country. doing right now. Yeah, why don't we check our calendars? If the three of you can, can check. What is that, June 23rd? Yeah, or Thursday. Yeah, I'll just forget it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I already had that down on my calendar. I don't, it doesn't appear right now like I have a conflict. Sarah? That's our one monthly meeting in yep. July. I've got, I've, I've got it down. I'm, I'm around. I won't believe I'm okay then. Bob's away. Well, <laughs> no, the 20th, actually, I'm sorry. I was wrong. The 23rd is fine. 23rd is fine. Great. Okay. okay, so thank you, Elizabeth. So, so we got a motion. So moved. Okay, second to uh, Bob. Do you want to second that? Uh, she's. She's but you're a full member, yeah, so yeah, I think I think yeah, you should because yeah. you're a full member. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, second. Okay, all in favor, that's unanimous. Unless you wanted to do that one and I can do <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the next one. No, no, no. you guys are full members. So are you? I'm not yet, right? Oh, yeah. I don't think it's gone through council yet. Okay. Uh, okay. So who is voting on the next one? Bob, do you have a uh, strong I'll preference? I'll do it. Sure. Okay, you'll vote on this one, yeah. but everyone can participate. So the next matter is, and the only other one is the request for a special permit for more than one sign by Smith College at the main entry at Elm Street and College Lane, Northampton, map ID 31B-244 and 245. Uh, notice of this hearing was published on May 12th and May 19th, 2016. Um, and voting on this will be Bob, um, Sarah, and me, and, but all of us will participate with questions and so on as, as we deem necessary. So if you could just, the applicant or the representative of the applicant could uh, 
introduce yourself um, and uh, and give us a brief uh, overview. Uh, actually, before you do, okay. if you don't mind, um, Carolyn has mentioned to me after we opened the hearing that um, this, the aesthetics and so on of this application have already been approved by the Elm Street Historic District. And the only matter really before us has to do with the two signs, the extra sign. And so um, there was already a public hearing uh, uh, with a review of, of, of aesthetic considerations to ensure compliance with the guidelines of the Elm Street Historic District. And that, that uh, commission uh, approved the, the application. So the only thing before us really is the, uh, the, the, the request for a special permit be necessitated by the fact that there are two signs. Is that, did I say that yep. correctly? Okay, good. So uh, go ahead, please. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Here's my, I'm Allison Richardson. I'm a landscape architect and I work for Smith College and this is the designers. Um, the new entrance at Smith um, at, the, at the intersection of Elm and College. And the, as you said, that the, the request is for the special permit for two signs. And uh, I can just explain that the signs are part of the sign wall and there is actually, um, you can go to the site, it's, it's actually staked on the site if you wanted to see what it was. Um, and there are two walls on either side of Mount Street, about 20 feet setback. Um, and the actual lettering is going to be, would be in size, proposed to be in size with lithochrome um, in limestone. So it's a, it's a stone panel. Um, in size letters, so they're they're set into, into the stone and grid. Um, and the reason why we have two signs is because the intent of this uh, entrance, this new entrance, is to demarcate the entrances in the college. This is where the uh, you know admissions is and the president's house, and that's the main entrance. And it's very difficult for many people, especially people coming for the first time, uh, to know where to go. Um, and so this is one, this is a way that Smith thinks that this will assist in, in wayfinding. And actually also make the intersection safer. Because a lot of people drive by and they don't know where they're going and they're stopping and starting and this intersection is a, you know, it's a busy intersection. There's lots of traffic and there are people coming from both directions. So the, the, um, the idea was that vehicles coming from this direction would see come across this plant and from the other one before you go through the intersection would see that sign so you would have enough warning to be able to charm. Um, the only other thing I would say about the sign is that there is uh, a little it does the size of the letter meets the meets the regulations. The, so that's that's something that, that we made sure about. Um, there is in this upper cap uh, a hidden, you don't see it when you're walking, but it's, there's a hidden little um, flexible LED light in the room, so that it will just lightly wash that, you know, um, at night. And we're also adding lights at the intersections, things like that, so it will be more, it will be much more visible than it is now, but there is a little bit of, of lighting specifically to wash that, um, that panel, but not brightly, just enough so that you can see it. Um, and so with that, I mean, I have, I have plans of what it looks like, and I have what the existing right. road looks like. You can see that you know, there's, we're also taking away, we're actually going to be taking away five parking spaces, so we're improving the visibility. Right now, the cars park right, really almost up to the intersection. So that, so that's going to really help the visibility as well. And those extra, those five cars are going to be found elsewhere in campus. Mm -hmm. Um, so really, really, so what's happening is right now there's, there's, um, park cars really up the intersection. So two on one side, three on the other side spaces are going to be, um, it's going to, the, the curb is going to be pulled out to the road. So they'll be, they'll be gone. It'll be long, and there'll be lawn and the sidewalk and then the sign walls. Um, and you can see this, this is how it looks and plan. Which way is north? That's must that be way. west. That must yeah. be east. That's that way. So, so this is going into the college lane. So 
these the 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 part with the incised lettering which looks like a white concrete maybe? It's limestone. Limestone. Um it's is it curved? Show it could be no, on it's, there? It's or? not curved. I will show you where that is. That is a low wall uh -huh. and then a little seat wall. Uh -huh. And then this is the sign panel and this is the heater. I see. And it's symmetrical on each side, uh -huh. except there is actually a little bit of a leg for a seat on this side. So, yeah, it's, so it's straight. It's actually yeah. orthogonal to the street. Mm -hmm. It's exactly parallel with the street, the side walls. So they're right here and here. Yeah. And you can see that, that that this used to be parking here and here, and we're taking that parking away and making it long. So is the dotted line a little more? Yes, that's utility. Okay, so you're not you're not we're not um, touching that. Touching that. Okay, no, that's, we're not touching it that. doesn't show that. Uh, I know it should. It should, but, but oh. we're not touching that. Okay. So that that you know concrete, stamp concrete will remain as is, as will the crosswalks and the so flush curving. The existing gate, this is quite a bit uphill for me, because the existing gate is down here, right? The existing gate oh, wait, is right yeah. here, right there. That, that they're actually not, it's not a gate, it's two piers. Right. Yeah. Right. So these are way up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about sight lines, people coming out of College Lane onto Elm? I'm sure somebody taking thought about turn. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah the base so these, BHB does not all the. Okay, so yeah. so none of this, the location of these new walls and. and they're, yeah, they're, they're 20 not, feet set back from the. Okay, car. so you're going to, any driver is going to have plenty of, uh, of visibility up and down Elm Street before they pull out. But no traffic light. <laughs> right now there's no traffic light. And there won't be. Yeah. All right. And. <laughs> That's yeah, good. Right? Good. <laughs> and and, and, and you're not changing, it's not before us anyway, but you're not changing the crosswalks. You, did, you, did I hear you say that? No, no. We just, <laughs> just, 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 we just, this one that's part of College Lane. Okay. Uh, okay. We're, we're making and, that. Up. And this drawing shows Smith College at main entrance, and that one shows. It's actually Smith College, College Smith College. Yeah, that's, that's an old. Okay. It's this one. Okay. And this is a, um, if you want to see the CAD drawing, that's what it looks like. Actually. Oh, oh. So what was in your packet's different than what it will be? I'm sorry. That no, that's okay. That, that I don't know how that happened. No, but that's it does say Smith College to the college. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. Have, will you need to have a sign that says main entrance? Yes. And sign. that's, do you see this little thing? <laughs> right there. Yeah. Okay. Plaque. As if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read that? <laughs> that actually says main entrance. Okay. okay. Well, is there a little black And you can see it here. Yeah. See this? You can see it in the category. There's a light. It's too small. Wait, yeah, I want to see that that big. So it's just for the pedestrians. Yeah, I've seen those little black signs elsewhere yeah. on campus. Yeah. The, the new wall that's uh, down by the light, um, does that have a little black sign on it? Does that have any? No, no in fact, they did. <laughs> the funny thing is, they're coming back for signage on that wall. It has to go back to Elm Street. So if they had thought about it ahead of time, they could have done everything together. Yeah. They're just going to put lettering mm -hmm. on that wall. Mm -hmm. Do we need to worry about the lighting? Um, I don't think it has to meet the zoning standards. You could certainly put a um, curfew on it uh, through the special permit process, but um, the light levels, no. Okay. What What about the uh, taking five parking places away? Those are that's the city. They're going to be recreated yeah. somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, but if you recreate, take five public parking places away and recreate them off campus, then you need campus permission to park there. So. Yeah, I mean, the city, so what ha what's sure. happening also is the city council has to approve a discontinuance of a portion of that right of way, yeah. and so all of that is getting discussed. Um, okay. So I wouldn't say that it's part of the board, the it's zoning board. Yeah, it's looking at. Look at that plan again with the sure. The plan, this one? No, the HP. I'm sorry, the one on your left hand. Feet. The little bronze plaque is out here. The bronze plaques are 24 and a half inches long by a seven and a quarter high. That's Which directional, is what I was told. Oh, the ones. <coughs> and where is this pier down light? Is it? On it's on the side. Yeah. So you can yeah. see that on the screen. You down with the sure kind of on that. pavement. Yeah, it's a pavement. We also have, well, just I can tell you, if you're interested in the 
lighting. Um, there's all we're also adding the you know the shepherd's crook light that some we're adding two here and one there, one there, and one there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and so there. This will be much you know it's not it's a little bit airport, airport it'll be brighter than it is now for the pedestrians crossing. And the other the other thing that may or may not happen is that what is going to happen. I hope is that the moving three. Right now they go like this, so we're making them straight, and there may be lights on them, but that's to be determined. Maybe overhead, so that's to be determined with the town. So whatever is happening, this will be a, a lot brighter than it is now because there's there's actually a dark space right now. Yeah. And across the street are all Smith buildings. There are no private residences that across the street that might be affected. Yeah. Hills. But they're yeah. dorms, but those are owned by Smith. They're all Smith, right? Yeah, yeah they're all Smith. Yeah, they're all Smith. <coughs> right, but there's still people living there. Yeah. At night. That's yeah. right across the street. Yeah. 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 The dorms right on the yeah. corner. Yeah. These yeah. are cut off fixtures. They're not. They're not closed. Oh. Oh. They're straight down. But you said it was going to be brighter. Well, be, well it's dark now. Yeah. So just it's it's nothing there. No. There, there is a overhead. One and then one over there. So, is it fair to say that Smith, excuse me, Smith has taken into account the effect of the added light on the students who are in the dorms across the street, which are owned by Smith? I mean, if that's your concern, I mean, are we advocating for the students of the same college, which, <laughs> which well, is well, these lights, these lights are not going to go past the street. Okay. I mean, this won't even okay. light the street. You have light levels for these lights. Right. Um, are they're turned this way for one thing? Yeah. So they're not. They're not even. Really, so when you say it's like brighter, you mean brighter than and dark pitch black, which is <laughs> yeah, what it is now. Right. You don't, it, you'll it's comply not, with dark it's not sky. It's not, it's it's not, not gonna, we're not going to hear from students across the street saying, I can't sleep at night oh, because of. No, no, I mean, is that what you're concerned about? Absolutely. Well, there's also on the yeah. other side of Round Hill Road, there's a yellow house with, I don't know, maybe condos, bird It's a single family. And, those, and so the street lights are different from the signlights. And the street lights, the city has jurisdiction over mm -hmm. to determine. What and that's not really before us. We're right. Only the sign is before right. us. Right. So what, what about the pedestrian across the street? I don't know. I mean, just because, because it's a cutoff doesn't mean that there isn't more. Well, there's crosswalks. And yeah. So these crosswalks would be a pedestrian sign so sticking up in that concrete or what? To consider. Like, it shows. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what you mean by pedestrian signs. If there's a crosswalk, right there, you've got uh, pedestrian crossing signs. That, that, yeah. yeah. Well, we're not going to, we're not going to change those. Yeah, they can't change that because no. that's in the city's jurisdiction. Right. Yeah. But what I mean is, where will those go when it's all concrete? There's a standard I, in the um, for tra uh, tra uh, traffic control. It's stipulates where those signs go in relation okay. to the crosswalk. So yeah. they would be relocated in a place that would be approved by DTW. And we have a civil engineer <coughs> PHB that's that's on this that's designed the engineer on this. Mm -hmm. So that would be their purview and they would follow all the regulations of the town. Not that this is relevant, I'm just curious, what's the width across the top of these? I don't know what they caps you have. They have two this foot five the depth. three eighths inches. Two and a half. Well, that's 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 the low wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this not this one. This this one. What's just the width across here? Okay, the other. Just, uh, just hold on. I don't have it in my head. Extent that 
um, stoop, Staffily and Staff can't park where they normally wanted to park. That's fine. <laughs> and it could be stoop as parking too. So, um, I mean, I think it varies. But certainly, um, parking is a whole other issue with Smith. That's been it's been a sore spot for decades. Right. They could. But it's way So are we yeah, we're ready good. to? We're, good. Uh, we're, good. we're just yeah, looking at the sign. Well, but it's, it's, it's good to know the context. Well, no, they're all good questions, so late, but yeah. for purposes of the action we're being asked to take, we're just looking at the sign. Yeah. So any other questions? No, I'm good. Right, so, uh, anybody good? Motion, so I guess just motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion of second. So we'll, All in favor, unanimous. The yeah. only thing I would yes. say before you Please. vote is that this is one of the most comprehensive applications That's I've great. ever seen. Great. It's great. In detail. Yeah, and, it's um, great. I should have asked my mom, who's Smith 52 on Washington Avenue, <laughs> to take a look at this because she would be very interested. Um, but I didn't. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll give her a copy. Um, so, um, I will. Um, oh, just I guess motion uh, to uh, to on the on the actual application for the special permit. Does anybody need this? Or? Oh. Yeah, so it's the first one there. For the special permit, a, more than one sign. Yep. Make a motion we approve the special permit uh, for more than one sign. Smith College Main Entry, Elm Street, College Lane, Northampton, map IDs 31B, 244, 245. Second. And any no conditions uh, as, as submitted? So all in favor? That's unanimous. You're Thank approved. You. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Um, we have some minutes, um, which are backing up a little bit. Have people had a chance to look at the minutes? Yes, So, and none of these things are okay. um, The one comment I have is on uh, May 12th. Did we say uh, step out or out of the room? Oh, yeah. Like this? Go on. So, <laughs> May 12th. May 12th, yeah, step out. Maybe we should say out of the room, so okay. it's clear. I don't technically I don't know how to put the but that's close enough. Right? It was, I represent the seller to the um, So, um, I guess just a motion to approve the, the minutes for May 12th. And what else do we have? Um, March 24th. And two for from, from March 24th. Uh, and, uh, so, okay, Elizabeth, second. And all in favor of the animus. And then just motion to adjourn. Keep me here, Bob. All in favor of the animus.